Hey guys, what's up? It's Justin here again. Kilo Oscar 4, Charlie, Echo Quebec. Today we're going to go over how to download and install FL Digi and most of its commonly used companion software. This will include FL Digi, FL Message, FL Amp, and also FL Rig. Uh, you don't need FL Rig unless you choose to run two digital programs at the same time. I've provided a link to the SourceForge website in the description below. Uh, this is a fairly simple process and shouldn't take you much time at all. But first, we're going to start off going to the sourceforge.net slash project slash fldigi uh, right here on the screen. Again, there's going to be a link in the description below. You're going to go ahead and click on the Files tab uh, right below the page title, and you should see a list of folders you can access. To download fldigi for Windows, click on the green Download Latest Version button. This will take you to a new page where the download should start. And here we'll go ahead and start the right now. And there it is down at the bottom. So that's done. We're going to go back now to the files page and also grab FL message, FL amp, and FL rig. Again, if FL rig if you need it. So we've already grabbed FL digi. We're going to go to FL message down here. And now we're not going to go ahead and click on the green button because that will just download the same file we downloaded before. For the Windows setup, which is what I'm running, we're going to download the setup.exe. And it will bring you to that same page again to download FL message. We're going to go back. We're going to go back again. And we're going to get FL amp. Same thing, we're going to go down to the FL amp setup.exe and click that. And after that's downloaded, we'll go back one more time and click back again, bring us back to that main page with all the companion, companion apps. And we're going to click on FL rig again. You won't need FL rig unless you plan on running multiple pieces of software at one time. All right, we've got all four of those programs. We're going to go ahead and start with FL Digi. We're going to run the setup program. Continue. This is all personal preference. I like to have the start menu shortcut and the desktop shortcut. So we'll click next and you will choose your destination folder. I like putting mine in the F drive and I've got a separate file for ham stuff. Click install, and just like that, that first one's installed. We'll go ahead and click on FL message, and just run the same thing through. Browse for me. Again, you can install it in the C drive if you wish. This is all personal preference as to where you install the program. That's FL message, FL amp gets kind of repetitive. And last but not least is FL rig. In the event that you are installing this software from SourceForge and you come up with this Windows protected your PC message, you're simply going to collect click on the more info button and select run anyway and that should take you through the installation process no problem and we are done if you close out your window you should see that we have all of the pieces of software. Where's the last one? FL message. They are all right here now on the desktop. And that's it for now, guys. And I will see you in the next video. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to get around and answering them. You guys have a great day and enjoy 73.